So let's start. Welcome to all of you to today's coffee lectures about smart maps, how to research and use electronic maps efficiently. My name is Sidney Monhardt. I work at the maps collection of ETH library. First, to show you um, what to expect in the next 10 minutes, as I said, how to learn um, how to search maps more efficiently and how to download and use them. First, to the agenda, I'm going to talk a little bit about the maps collection at ETH library, then about cottonportal.ch and Swisscovery that we at the maps collection um, digitize and georeference our maps and last but not least about electronic maps or e-maps as we call them. To the maps collection, we have over 150 terabyte geodata, um, which are um, shown through GeoVit, another platform of ETH library. We collect scientific, technical, and topographic maps. We have some rare, rare maps from the 18th and 19th century, as well as Atlantis up to 21st century, then various reliefs, globes, CD and DVDs um, from, well, um, past times. Um, and to sum it all up, uh, that results in over 400,000 maps, which makes us the biggest map collection of Switzerland. To cartonportal.ch, um, in 2010, the uh, um, map collections of ETH library as well as other libraries in Switzerland realized that the display of maps in our catalog or OPEX are limited. So, Kartenportal.ch was founded it's a platform with very with numerous libraries from Switzerland, and um, it allows to visual the visual representation of map sections and to search also for digitized books. So this is cartonportal.ch. As you can see, when you start your search, you have a um, filter with timeline attributes like geologic, tectonic, and so on. And you can filter from numerous libraries. Here you can see the red square shows the maps found in libraries from here. You can also go directly to Swiss Covery and loan the maps from there. Then to Swisscovery, which all of you know, I'm sure, is our catalog. From there, you can search for maps using the map filter at the top. And we implemented a few weeks ago a new search support, so-called Geo API, which you can see on the right side. Um, it allows geographical reference um, directly 
in Swisscovery, and it also allows direct links to digitized or geo-referenced books. So you have here your map filter. Let's say you're interested in a map of Zurich. If you click on this one, then all the way down, we have here geographical reference where you can access this geo API where you get selected documents from our library and all the way down here you have our maps first Erara maps which means digitized maps and emaps so georeferenced maps all the way bottom see like cottonportal.ch we have the maps and the area they show. Then as you can see, we digitize our maps and georeference them through um, old maps online. It's a counterpart uh, catalog to cottonportal.ch for old maps. Here, it's not just Swiss institutions, it's over 50 institutions from all over the world. And we have almost 5,000 digitized map titles, the ETH library on Erara. It's our national um, platform for not just maps, but also rare books. And you can help us georeferencing our digitized maps. Um, we're using you, so the crowd, um, just to make sure that everything's correct. Uh, the quality control is made by us. Now, to the project eMaps. Um, the di digital change um, can also be seen for maps. So we started project eMaps to develop um, and to buy a range of electronic maps. But we, mm, we didn't want to create a new platform. So the access is via Swisscovery itself with the local extensions. We made E01 eMaps. Uh, you can search for all of them. It's georeferenced maps, old maps, uh, 726 now and 79 electronic maps. So newer maps like you see here on the right side from 2019. I'm gonna show you later how to download them. Um, when you download it, you can import them to a geoinformation service like QGIS and work with them from there. Let me just change back here. So with E01 eMaps, you can search for all our electronic maps. And this, for example, is the geologic map of Bavaria with this link you get here where you can download it easily. So it was a quick 15 minutes. 
Um, thank you for your attention. And don't forget the next coffee lecture about open access, access first aid in the funding jungle next Wednesday. And yeah, thank you. <laughs>